Hi everyone and welcome to this video on customizing your navigation bar. When you first create a site and start adding pages to your site, you might notice that they will automatically begin to appear in your navigation bar if you don't happen to select a location. But what if you want to change the order of these pages in your navigation bar? Well, let's take a look at that process to get behind the scenes. We need to go to the More button and select Manage Site. And once we get here, we'll need to scroll down to Site Layout. Here in Site Layout, we have a number of things that we can customize the site with. Uh, we'll look at all these in another video, but in this particular one, we want to focus on the sidebar. And the sidebar contains various navigation bars, and here's one that is already exists. We can add more here, but we're going to edit this particular navigation bar. So let's go ahead and click on Edit. And we can do a number of things right off the bat. First of all, we can actually title the navigation bar and display it. Right now it's not displayed. So let's just call this Pages, and we can display it. You'll see what it looks like when we go back. But here's the kicker. Right now, Google automatically organizes my navigation bar. I prefer that it not. So I'm going to uncheck that. And right away, it will begin to show the pages that I have added already to my site. Now, normally they do show up. If they don't show up, you can click on Add Page and begin to, to build that. But now I can do a number of things here that I couldn't do before. For example, let's say that this uh, file cabinet page I have here, I can select it, and now I can begin to move it into a different location on the navigation bar in a different order. I have my home page right up here. And let's say I have a page that I no longer want to have displayed. So I can simply remove that by clicking on the Remove button after I've highlighted it. So that's really taking over the control over the navigation bar. Now if you do turn this on, let's take a look at another possibility here. Let's click on OK and see what that's done. We'll save our changes and go back to our page. So now you can see that we've actually changed the name of the navigation bar called Pages. You can do that if you wish, you don't have to. And we've actually changed the order of our pages and we removed a page. Well, now that comes in really handy because we know that when you start constructing a page that you may not want to put it on here until you're all done. That may take a couple of days. So let's pretend that we were working on a page and now we're ready to insert it on the navigation bar. So we go to Manage Site, go back to our site layout, And here we go, a little lag here. Now we go back in to, nav to uh, edit that navigation bar. We'll click on Edit. And there was a page we were working on. It's not on the navigation bar, but I had been working on it, so I know it's back there. It's called the Sample Page. I can select it, say OK. Now it appears on the list, and I can move it to wherever I'd like. Click OK, and we're good to go. Just one more thing here before we leave this. In addition to adding pages, I can actually add URLs. So in that navigation bar, if I want to send someone to a particular URL, all I have to do is to add URL, put the text in, paste the URL, which is always good practice, but I'll type it in real quick. and then say OK. And it looks like a page, but it's actually a link. So that's a handy little feature. Let's click on OK and see what it's done to our navigation bar. We'll save our changes, return back to our site, and sure enough, there's that sample page that we've been working on. It's now ready for people to see, and now this Grantwood AEA does show up, and it's a link. So let's click on that, and that should take us to where we want to go. Very good. So I hope you found this uh, video helpful, and have a good day.